and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in a very big poofy flowy dress and I'm very excited for today's video because it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be trying something new and speaking of something new and trying new things, I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, but more on that later. First things first, coffee. Welcome to my kitchen. Today's video is going to be a thrifted clothing haul, pretty much with the whole theme of like cottage core, cottage core clothing because I absolutely love that style and I've just been getting so into it and because spring is coming, today is like the warmest day of the year so far, it's 8 degrees, 8 whole degrees, can you believe that? I just thought it would be the perfect time to put on some new favorite dresses that I've received, I think this one's my favorite so we're gonna start with it and just show you guys all the cute clothes I got. This whole haul is thrifted, like I said, I bought all of these pieces from ThreadUp which is an online thrift store. Oh, I just thought it'd be a perfect time to welcome spring and hopefully try and make the warm weather stick around if it sees my new cute dresses. Let's begin. All right, so I'm incredibly excited to show you guys everything that I got because, oh my goodness, they're just so cute. And also I really wanted to make this video in mind kind of just as we were coming up into spring and it's actually working out perfectly. The summoning spell is going great. It is gorgeous, it is beautiful. I have all the windows blasted wide open and I cannot wait to get out into the sun after I finish showing you guys everything that I got. So, so I have a lot of pieces here. They're mostly all dresses, honestly, and a couple tops. I was just very much looking forward to putting together more of like a summer, spring kind of wardrobe because um, that's not the type of clothing I usually gravitate towards, but I definitely want to get out of my comfort zone and it does get incredibly hot here in the summer, like disgustingly hot. So I at least wanted to have some cute pieces to offset that because I hate the heat, but let me show you the first one. So the first dress that I got is the one that I'm currently wearing and I had to start with my favorite because I absolutely love this. Like I said, I did get and find all of these pieces on ThreadUp. I just really, really love these. If I know the like original brand or the original company of the pieces, I will put that in. But for example, this one is unbranded. Uh, it was listed on the website as unbranded and there's no tag on the back. There's absolutely no indicator of where it was originally from, so I'm sorry about that, but I just absolutely, absolutely love this one. I think a common theme you're going to see throughout this whole video is just like me picking pieces simply for their sleeves. Sleeves are probably like my favorite part of a dress, I think, um, aside from the skirt and what kind of skirt the dress has, but sleeves are definitely like my number one favorite thing ever. Um, I adore poofy sleeves. The bigger the sleeves, the happier I am. And so this one I just couldn't not get because it has huge sleeves. This is now the piece of clothing I own with the biggest sleeves in the world. And I'm just so happy about it. I love how flowy it is. There's so much air. And then the bottom of the sleeve like tapers off um, and cinches and then it puffs out with these really, really cute little puppies at the bottom, which I really love as well. The pattern is just this red and white plaid, very much a tablecloth. I look like a tablecloth and that's what we're going for this season. The skirt is very, very long, but it doesn't reach all the way down to my ankles. It's like the perfect length because it doesn't drag on the ground. It's very light, very flowy. And then the bodice part is that kind of like cinched, stretchy material. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what it's called, but then it tapers off into the skirt. So I absolutely love, 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 love this one <laughs> so much. It is so me and I'm just so happy that um, I found it. So that is the first one that I got. On the topic of springtime and trying something new and feeling a little bit more motivated than usual to maybe get into something you've never done before, I am so excited to be thanking Skillshare for working with me and sponsoring today's video of trying something new. You've probably heard of Skillshare at some point, but if you never have, they are an online learning community that offers 
thousands of classes. For example, they have stuff like photography, music production, illustration, creative writing, but also so many other things. Like for example, I'm currently taking a class in American Sign Language, which is something I've always wanted to do, something I've always wanted to learn. Skillshare is perfect if you are curious about something, maybe there's a topic you've never gotten to explore. So the American Sign Language class I'm taking, it is level one because I've never done it before. And then it's taught by IntelliZ trainers. I've always wanted to do sign language and learn it. I was actually really excited to take it in like my first year of high school because my high school had an ASL club, but literally the first year I got there, they canceled it and I wasn't able to do it. Skillshare has been created solely for the purpose of learning. So there are absolutely no ads when you are using Skillshare and it's also pretty inexpensive and affordable starting at less than $10 a month when you have an annual subscription. The first 1000 people to use the link listed in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you can explore your creativity and explore anything you might want to learn more about. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring the video and let's get back into the spring cottage core. All right, so the second dress is this one and we're gonna see definitely a lot of floral patterns in here, I think, because um, yeah, cottage core just screams, you know, flowers and plants and nature to me as well, but I absolutely love this pattern. The background is completely white and then it has these red roses all over it with some green and kind of like beigey brown vines, which I think is really, really nice. I love like this pattern and I love when the floral design is like very much small and repeated over and over again so it takes up the whole dress and I just really, really like it. This one is originally from Shein. Um, and it looks brand new, honestly. It has a zipper on the back to, you know, zip. That's what zippers are for. And then this one, again, I really, really love the sleeves. They are so lightweight, and I love that they don't like cinch and tighten around my arm. I really don't like that. I love when the sleeves are very poofy, extremely light, extremely airy, get that airflow in the armpits, you know? Um, and yeah, I just really like it. This whole dress, though, is extremely lightweight. Like, it is so thin. I could probably spit through it. Um, which I don't mind though because like for the summer that's kind of what I'm looking for. This one has a bit of a shorter skirt and it goes down to maybe like the knees or something like that which is nice. The top part as well I just think is really flattering because it like folds down um, and then it connects right to the sleeves and I just like that line like the straight line across um, kind of the neck and then into like a very flowy poofy sleeve so so that is that one i really really like this i somehow don't own any like purely white dresses i don't think and this one also screamed very cottage court to me so i picked up this guy this one is also from shein and this one's interesting it came and i think it's missing like it's drawstring because the waist um, is cinched and then it has like you know the little loopies for a drawstring or a belt or something like that but I have lots of belts so that's fine I can just put my own in there the whole dress is white and then the top part kind of like does that crisscrossy thing um, for the bodice which I really like because that makes it even looser which like I said is what we're going for and then these sleeves are almost kind of identical to the last dress I showed you from Shein they're a bit longer as well which I really like in a dress I don't love short sleeve dresses I very much like when the sleeves go down like at least half the you know bicep or um even all the way down to my elbow but this one's really nice because it does the little like swirly things on the sleeve as well which i really like and then it's split at the bottom into like a line and it does the exact same thing that it does with the sleeve at the bottom as well i just think it's really simple really sweet and yeah i just really really like this one so this one I could definitely also see like wearing to the beach or even using it maybe as like a bathing suit cover up or something like that. Yeah, I just really, really like this one and I love white dresses. I would like to get maybe a few more kind of old fashioned um, vintage ones, which is kind of what I was looking for thrifting. But if you guys like these kind of videos, I might maybe do another one and like shop at some cottage core, maybe online stores because I know there's so many now and I would love to explore them a bit more deeply um, and find some ones that are good and sustainable. So if you guys have any places where you find, you know, vintage and older style dresses, please let me know because I'm always, always searching for them. Um, that's pretty much the, the first thing and one of the only things I search for. Uh, when I go to the thrift store for clothes, so yeah. But that is the white dress that I found. This next piece is a jumpsuit, and I am so just over the moon about it because I have been wanting a jumpsuit for years. I did buy a jumpsuit at the thrift store maybe like four years ago, but I've never worn it 
because it's way too long for me and that's always what I find holds me back and stops me from wearing jumpsuits or finding ones that fit because they're always way too long for a short gal like me like the pants always like drag way way past my toes and it just doesn't work so when i saw this one um i oh my gosh i just love it because they also list like the measurements so you can measure and make sure that it's going to fit you and this one everybody fits the pants are cropped beautifully they don't drag on the floor they don't go over my feet they are just such a nice length so the jumpsuit that i chose is this navy blue polka dotted one i just oh it's so cute i absolutely love it i absolutely love it so much my the sleeves are also one of my favorite part because they've got like a double layer of that kind of i don't know what to call this swirly 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 sleeves i just i'm just gonna call it swirly sleeves i don't know but it's got like that kind of double pattern of it and then it opens up and it's layered and it just looks so nice so flattering the front of this one does the same kind of crisscrossy thing it's a little bit big in the front but i think i can make it work and then this one did come with a belt because it has loops but i actually just decided to wear it as a headband because i think it looked really really cute so i just tied it around my head but yeah i am just over the moon i think i'm maybe like next most excited about this one because like i said i never have a jumpsuit oh and the best thing the best thing about this one it has pockets it does it does have pockets and not only does it have pockets but they are actually regularly sized pockets they can fit a book guys they can fit a book i can put a book in my pocket when have i ever been able to do that literally never um all of the dresses and basically so many things i own either don't have pockets or they have fake pockets and so just this was like oh oh my gosh so just so happy about the pockets so that is the jumpsuit that i found and this one is also from shein originally so um it also looks brand new though so that is awesome i did get a couple of tank tops as well because tank tops are kind of the clothing item that i find i wear least i just never want to wear a tank top um and it's because like i don't own very many and i kind of just don't like all the ones i have most of them are from like they're they're either workout tank tops or they're either tank tops i've had for like years and years and years so i thought i would get a couple really cute ones that are very much um cottage core and they kind of remind me of corsets so this is the first one um once again this is just like the almost the same floral pattern that was on um the first one of the first dresses i showed you but i just love it it's beige it's absolutely gorgeous and once again it has like little little roses all over it which i love the top has adjustable spaghetti straps and then both the top and the bottom um of this guy um is flared at the top and bottom i absolutely love it on the bottom i think it's extremely flattering however one thing i don't like about this one is that uh, i just wish the top wasn't flared because like the way it sits it like crunches right under your armpit and it's very irritating honestly so um i think maybe i could roll it down or something like that i'm not sure which brand this is originally from so if anyone knows now's your time to shine thank you <laughs> because i love this i would love to purchase more from this company if i knew who they were who are you this one isn't necessarily like a super cropped top on me because it's extremely stretchy um which is nice this is a shirt that i feel like i could definitely put down like five tacos and still be okay wearing it you know could probably put down another five tacos if i really wanted to but yeah i just thought this was so cute and i'm so glad that i found this one too this next dress i feel like this is kind of the cottage court dress that i would wear if i wanted to go to like my rival's cottage and steal all of their zucchinis and their squash you know i just come over and steal the squash that they worked so hard to harvest and what am i saying okay i think we know what my favorite parts about this dress is. If you guess the sleeves, congratulations. You get nothing, but you guessed right. I just love these sleeves. They feel like one of those very fancy kind of princess dresses and they're see-through and I just love how poofy they are. Oh my gosh. I want my sleeves to hide secrets. I also think it's super flattering because the uh, end part of the sleeve where it reaches the outermost part of your arm um, is tightened and then they gave you a little bit extra material that goes like over the tightened part. So it just looks like your arm is a cloud or in a cloud and I love it. But to get to the main action of this dress the um, skirts and bodice itself is made from this kind of like it's almost a denim -y material it feels like kind of a tea towel material which i don't love um but i still really think 
it's cute and then the the background color is just kind of this like salmon pink and then on the side it has these dark red bows i'm not sure if they actually undo or not i'm gonna have to figure that out because i see that like maybe you could make this dress a little bit looser if you undid them so i'll have to experiment with that but it's just kind of down the left side of the dress which is also really nice i like that it's a little bit offset and then right at the end this dress ends in a little flare on your left leg and i just think that's so cute as well i love that little detail that is that one all right and then the last piece i got is another tank top it's a little bit similar to the first one i showed you guys but this one has so many cool features <laughs> cool features <laughs> This is a car, the new Ford F-150. Here's what this guy looks like. He's so cute. It is just so cute. Okay, first of all, let's take a minute for the color. The color is just absolutely gorgeous. It's almost this like robin's egg kind of blue, sky blue. Um, periwinkle? No, it's not quite periwinkle, but it's almost. It's like lavender, but in blue, blue lavender. Someone's gonna comment like the correct color and I'm gonna appreciate them. This is originally from the brand Ray Raylosen. I think this is a European brand. I don't know how to say it, but I really, really love the sleeves on this guy because they're not actually connected. They are simply two pieces of string, rope, whatever you'd like to call them, ribbon, and then you can tie it however you'd like. You just do a simple knot. You could do a bow. Um, and you just make it so, so cute. It's so flattering. I love it. Um, and then it just fits to however big you would like to size it to. The top part, again, is this very extremely stretchy material. And then this one kind of does what I wish the other one does. It has those very flattering, flared out um, pieces of fabric on the top and bottom. But the ones on the top, they made sure that there was like lots of room for your armpits. So that was thoughtful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this one's just so cute. This one's very much more cropped than the first one so i'd probably wear this with like some high-waisted shorts or jeans um as it is i just took the bodysuit and then kind of converted that into pants which also looked really cute with this one but yeah i just love this blue is a color that i really don't have a lot of in my closet so i'm really glad to add this to the pile so that is everything i got and yeah i just think it's so cute i loved trying to like pick out some pieces from a thrift store for like a cottage core video in mind that was also really fun so thank you guys so much for watching and for coming along with me on a bit of a newer video i don't really do a lot of kind of clothing or you know beauty videos but i would love to experiment a little bit more and try them out so thank you for watching thank you so much for supporting this channel and once again thank you to skillshare as well for making today's video possible let me know which one is your favorite or if you would like to see more of these kind of videos maybe i could do like a different theme next time i hope you're having a wonderful day i hope spring is being sprung for you as soon as possible and i will see you very soon on my next video ciao